Record Store Day. Vinyl, bring it back. I am Mr. Rotten. I have loved vinyl all my life. All of the reasons I got involved with music in the first place was because of vinyl and, and my love and adoration for anybody that puts things to record. I have a very, very enormous record collection of all kinds of music. There's no limitations. And vinyl opens those windows. And unfortunately, in the last uh, couple of decades, what we've done is eliminate that wonderful oral tapestry from, from our, our minds. For me, uh, Britain is an island. It always has been. It, ha it doesn't have what you would call a strictly indigenous population. It is constantly being updated. That is to the benefit of this as a culture. And you have to learn that, and you have to know that the absorption and the integration of all of those different new intriguing elements make us better and better and better and better and better and better. It goes back to, I don't know, like four years old when I first like, started buying records. Because um, I love my mum and dad too. They, they loved all kinds of music and they'd party every every weekend and uh, although I've had a problem with them with the Beatles that they, they loved the Beatles but they were right too you know but there was more going on than just that it's, um, it's why in the Sex Pistols uh, we, did, we never did a, a Beatles song but we did a Monkeys song because the monkeys sold more than the Beatles. <laughs> also the sound of music and this was something I seen uh, the other night on the one show Cilla Black saying do you know that the sound of music sold more than anything in that, in that particular period the 60s. Well yes I'm, of course I knew that. I love some of those songs. Yeah. Julie Andrews is a, an incredible voice. And don't throw that away. Learn that that's, that's what makes this place so wonderful and special. America still loves Julie. I, I fought bitterly against the record labels now for, for almost two decades. Um, they kept me financially destitute. Um, they did everything they could to not make what it is I do work in any way, shape or form. Um, it kept me, yes, as I said, financially destitute. But the thing is, I keep at it, don't I? You know, I, I can't be ground down people like me because what I do is, is my culture. Look at me friends, look at my lifestyle. To us, it doesn't really matter if you're five or 50, so long as there's a poignancy in what it is you're singing about and it be relevant to the people, class and structure around you. Yes, that's poetry, but yes, it's art, and yes, it's music, and yes, it's pop, and yet at the same time, integral to the, to the development of your own brain, your own thought, and the youngsters that are coming up around us. We want them to know. The battles we fought here, we want to share in our, our pride, our culture. We want to share. I think this seems to be the spirit of One Drop, actually. That, that idea. Total. It's, very positive. it's a very pop song. It's one of the most, I'd say, one of the most pop songs you've ever written. It deals, it, it, it deals with irony. It's a wonderful juxtaposition of events. It's, it's about getting into the groove with each other and not, not got to cause no, you know, idiot commotion. We know what the proper enemy are and where they are, which is why Guy Fawkes is one of Johnny's best heroes ever. <laughs> you know, it's, um, and I've seen it happen here now um, for a couple of years. They're beginning to call Guy Fawkes Night Halloween. That's unacceptable. Yeah, that's not right. It's not right. It was an insane idea to try to blow up the Houses of Parliament. I mean, I wouldn't agree with like the murder of, of, of any human being ever, because I don't believe in, in that kind of violence. But the idea's intrinsically British. <laughs> you know, we do love a good riot. Th those are an intrinsic part of our culture. Uh, before then, the British used to riot in the theatre. Can you imagine that? A bad play would set off a riot. We came back. Uh, 
uh, from Greece and Hungary uh, uh, last year. This is on the way to record uh, the album that we're, we're going to now release on vinyl. Um, but as, as we came in into Luton Airport, and there it was, it's Welcome to Britain, the sign. And underneath was the TV showing the riots going on. <laughs> and there's all these tourists returning, but also immigrants wanting to join in and be British. And you see this riot juxtaposition under Welcome to Britain. Fantastic. I mean, we really are an amazing culture. And we mustn't lose that, that ferocity, but humour too. And that nobody like, thought of turning the TV off. They showed it fully. Don't you love England? America wouldn't have allowed that. That's what makes us better. Do you know what I mean? So we look at the right in, in a different way. And we absorb it. Right? And also the rioters learn, mm, pick the wrong enemy. It's not Samsung and Adidas. <laughs> it's the Houses of Parliament. Guy Fawkes, a very nice fella. Look around, right? These flats, right? These people have got nothing. Right? They've got nothing. I come from this. This is my manner, it's my life. But I don't resent anyone for it. Right? I just don't want you stepping on my foot as I open the ladder up to lesser offs than myself. I will always fight for the disenfranchised and there but for the grace of God go you and I. Alright, thank you John. Cheers for that. We'll let you, uh, let you uh, get back indoors. Take get drugs and not get nicked. <laughs> <laughs>